2019 bus routes. So you are given a two dimensional array um, that's called roots. And so for example, if roots zero is 157, this means this is the zeroth bus and it keeps going 157, 157 forever. So um, 127 in this example is the route for one bus. And this is the bus stops, bus stop number one, bus stop number two, bus stop number seven. And then on this bus, it is bus stop number three, bus stop number six, bus stop number seven. So you start off at bus stop number one and you wanna go to bus stop number six. So the output is two because you go on two buses. So on this first bus, you go bus stop number one, bus stop number two, bus stop number seven. You get out at bus stop number seven, <clears throat> and then you get on this bus that goes to bus st stop number three and then bus stop number six because it's repeating. So you go on a total of two buses. And then in this example here, um, these are all the buses. Bus zero stops at stops seven and 12. Bus one stops at four, five, and 15. Um, bus two only stops at bus stop number six. Um, so you're given source 15, means you get on at the 15 bus stop, and so you have to get off at 12. So when you're on this bus, it only goes on the 15 and 19 bus stops, so you can't even trade any other buses to get into this bus. They have no shared stops, so you do an output of uh, negative zero. So um, this is considered a hard problem, but if we draw up our plan, um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, so the first thing that we can do is um, we'll make a hash map, um, and the key is going to be the stop number, and the value is going to be a hash set of uh, the bus number that it is. So if we do that, we'll have a whole hash set that'll have all of the keys will be the stop numbers and then the hash set will just have any bus that that stop is in. Um, then we're going to use BFS, um, which is making a queue and um, we are going to count how many buses we have to go on. Um, that's for every time that we pop something off the queue, we're gonna have to pop something off the bus. Um, then we are going to uh, take our hash map, get the hash set for the um, bus stop. Go, oh, this is number five. Um, we're going to check to see if we have been on this bus before using another hash set. And We'll say um, for every stop on this bus, um, check to see if it is the target. If not, add this stop to the queue. And if it, we get to the end, <laughs> we're just going to uh, return negative one if we get through the whole queue. <clears throat> okay, so that's our plan. So let's start. Um, well, first our edge case would be if the source equals the target. That's gonna be the only time that we return zero because it's gonna be on the same, um, you're gonna have no buses, so it's gonna be you're not even going to do any BFS. So if 
the source equals the target, you're going to return zero. Um, now let's make our hash map. which is going to be an integer because it's going to be the bus stop and it's going to be a hash set of integers which is going to be the bus numbers. I'm just going to call it HM. Okay, now we have to um, go through uh, a nested loop. So we'll say for int i equals zero, i less than roots length, i plus plus. going to say we're going to put as the key is going to be the roots ij um, but for the value we have to either make a hash set or get a hash set so the hash set is going to be um, the bus number or just like the bus root and that's either going to be if our hash map already has this key, we're going to get it from the hash map. Otherwise, we are going to create a new hash set. So either get the hash set from the hash map if this key exists or create a new one. So either way, for this bus route, we are going to add i. Because you remember, um, i is going to be this is the zero bus, this is the one bus. So we're just saying like, Okay, add this number bus on here. So we have our hash set of all the buses and we're going to just say put and I'm going to say roots i j. We're going to put the bus stop and we are going to put the bus root as the value. So that's our step one. Okay, so for BFS, it's the same thing you always do. You make a queue. It's going to be of a type integer. It's a new linked list. Let's add our first value to the queue. So we are going to add the source because that is where we start from. That's the bus stop we start on. Um, and making a queue. Count how many buses we have to go on. So we're just going to say that's count and it's going to start at zero. And this is, we're going to actually do this here. We have to create a hash set to say We're going to keep track to see if we already went through this entire bus before. Okay. Um, so what you always do is you say in BFS, you'll say while our queue is not empty, we will say, um, the count is going to go up one because we're on a new level. Um, 
the size is going to be the current size of the queue. And so we will just do a loop through this whole row. So we'll say print i equals zero, i less than size, i plus plus. We're going to get the current stop, which is going to be right off of the queue. Um, and then we're going to go, so we have our current stop here. That's off of the queue. That's our bus stop number. And so for this bus stop that we already put into the hash map, let's get a list of all the, the buses that this bus stop is in. So um, so this will give us all of the buses that is in that this um, stop is on. And so we'll say, um, for every bus that is on this in this hash set, um, if we haven't seen it before, so um, one way to do that in one line, you could say this is a boolean. You say like if you've if you can add it to the hash set. So if this is true. That means you haven't seen it before. At the same time, it also adds it to your hash set, so it's a nice succinct way of doing both at the same time. So <clears throat> if you can add it to scene, which means you haven't seen it before, um, then this is going to be, we're going to go through these stops here and we'll check to see if it's our target and if it's not our target, um, then we're going to add it to the queue. Um, I just want to go through um, my lists here. Um, so that's this part here. Now we're up to this part. Okay. Um, for every stop on this bus, so we'll say for every stop that is in this bus so we're going back here to this roots that was given to us so if say it's root zero so we'll say for every stop that's in this bus stop if um the stop is where we want to go to we are going to return our the count that we have right now um and if it doesn't return the count we are going to say um, add this stop to the queue. That's this part right here. Okay, um, and then we're going to return negative one here. We can just copy this. And if we get all the way through it, it is going to return negative one. Um, so to make sure that I have the right amount of brackets here, I should. OK, 
okay, I'm going to run this. And that is for that. Let me just straighten this all out so you can see it in one shot. Okay, and that's it. Thank you.